concerning Yesterday my life was filled with rain Hey folks! Sunny. Do you ever notice how all those politicians have started calling people folks? Like, I don't know about you, but it makes me feel so much better about them. So much warmer. Like, it just makes me want to vote for them. Hey folks! Makes me feel like they know who I am. Welcome to the House of Sunny. We've got a special edition here for you today. No Sunny TV. Um, Sunny's at the Democrat convention and hopefully she'll be back next week to talk to you about her liberal ideas. Today, I'm going to show you some clips of um, the lovely and talented Sarah Palin. Let's get started. Uh, Sarah Palin spoke at the Reagan dinner last week. Let's hear what she had to say. We need strong, principled leaders, public servants who respect our Constitution. That sounds pretty good. Strong leaders that respect our Constitution. So far, so good, Sarah Palin. What do you think she's going to say next? But if I were king, more like it if I were a coach. Oops. I think she meant that. Freudian slip much, Sarah? Nice recovery, Sarah, because coaches are much better than kings. We've got to hold the press accountable when you know that they're making things up and telling untruths. We've got to do this together. Untruths. Untruths. Do you think she means lies? Why do all these politicians come up with new English words just to say the same thing? I mean, what is misinformation? And by the way, I am the biggest proponent of freedom of the press in this country. Our young men and women in uniform willing to fight and die for our constitutional rights, including that right to that free press. It's nice to hear that she is one of the biggest proponents of free speech and free press. It's why I'm adamant that they tell the truth. How dare anyone disrespect our troop sacrifice by claiming the right to print and to say anything without a corresponding responsibility to truth. On the one hand, she's one of the biggest proponents of free speech and the freedom of the press. But on the other hand, how dare they claim the right to say and print anything they want. Crazy. You know, I think I would swallow any message as long as sandwiched in the middle there somewhere is something about soldiers and sacrifice. <laughs> oh God. And in this kind of strange, unaccountable day of anyone and everyone getting to claim that they are a journalist, you gotta ask yourself, who are they really? It's so strange. It's so unaccountable. Anyone can write something, publish it, and then call themselves a journalist. It's crazy. It's unaccountable. Free speech is unaccountable. It's so strange. It's so weird that people could say and print anything they want. What a crazy day we live in. It's... <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. When the media uses, say on deep, deep background, anonymous sources, well, to cowardly attack someone, their record, their intentions. First, remember that these sources, if they ever even really exist, and the journalists perpetuating the problem, the untruths, they are gutless. They erode our faith in this once proud bedrock of our democracy, America's free press. Oh, yeah, I guess all these untruths have made the free press um, something undesirable, and there ought to be a law. I'm not sure there was ever a day in our country when somebody wasn't complaining about people lying about things in the press, and, and that's just free press. I mean, like, what does she think yellow journalism is? Well, that's Sarah Palin in her own words. Sarah Palin, one of the biggest proponents of freedom of the press, <laughs> of that freedom of the press. So anyway, make up your own mind, but tea partiers, uh, maybe she's not such a good choice. Sunny. Yesterday my life was filled with rain. Sunny. You smiled at me and really 